for daily ask reddit r slash ask reddit what's the most high risk low reward thing you've ever done if you enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe so you never miss a video i swam in the zambezi when i was drunk on a tiger fishing trip still can't believe i was that stupid for those that don't know it's infested with hippos and crocs known for taking people I used to dive in ponds at golf courses to collect the lost balls and clean slash sort them to sell back to the courses. It's unbelievable just how many snakes, alligators, and leeches live in those things. I made less than minimum wage, around 6 ish at the time, and had countless close calls with critters. However, the most dangerous creatures on golf courses are old people. They do not give a f working, they will absolutely send balls of hard plastic hurdling at your head at 50 miles per hour without a second thought, then get pissed when their ball hit your tank or cart and split open, then demand you hand over some of your recovered balls in compensation. Edit, I have been informed golf balls fly much faster than 50 miles per hour. Another edit, yes, the course was always informed when we were there, and they were usually the ones to make the appointments. We quarantined off the area with bright tape and cones with signs and the golfers were either informed to steer clear of the area or the course shut down for a couple hours. It depends on the course though. Some people believe those rules are a suggestion and ignore all of it, especially in places without barriers or fences around the course. One more edit, this was in Florida, hence the density of dangerous wildlife. My friends and I used to target and steal those signs that said, if you are caught stealing you will be prosecuted. Many illegal things were done and many hundreds of thousands of dollars of stuff was ignored to steal increasingly difficult to obtain paper signs. I once followed a young homeless man I just met because he wanted to show me where he was staying. It was nighttime, and he invited me down into a dip in the trees. We walked through a dark section of forest then he showed me some rocks and small caves with a couple beds set up. Then we left. I literally followed a stranger into the dark woods because curiosity, suicidality. <laughs> Told this story before, but it's been a while. My friends and I used to break into expensive looking houses and use their showers. This was in the late 90s, when ridiculous showers were in vogue and we wanted to know if they were actually any good, for the most part they were not. We never stole anything, well, except water. We brought our own towels and toiletries. We were very careful about who we hit and made sure they had set schedules, and no children or pets. The reward was a shitty shower. We risked jail time. Broke into an abandoned mental hospital on cocaine with a bunch of people I mostly didn't even like in college. Technically I got something out of it, a door number from one of the rooms, which I promptly became terrified, would somehow make me haunted, because cocaine, and passed off to someone else at the first opportunity. Edit, a lot of people have made guesses as to where this was. It was in the area of Marlborough, New Jersey. I don't remember the name of the place, I wasn't from the area, and was tagging along with a group that was. <laughs> Whilst building a house, the second floor had an I-beam that extended our into nowhere, that needed to be painted with rust protection paint. The floor had not been installed, yet and the joists were still going in. To save time, I shimmied out to the end of the beam and started painting. Every breath of wind made the whole thing sway. Just my movements made it wiggle a fair bit. Nearly took a 6 meter swan dive to a concrete floor about 12 times. I could have painted it after the floor was in, but that would mean laying down drop sheets and lots of messing around. Should have waited. Was a totally stupid thing to do. <laughs> Taking a year in a program I wasn't interested in, to try and get a girl, who turned me down instantly. Edit, I wasn't horny, I was lonely, and we were good friends prior, not so much afterwards as shit got awkward, it was also my second year, so I did get a useless degree I never claimed for my trouble, social science, 